Ghana Highway Authority, uh, together with contractors, has embarked on an assessment of the toll booths on the Akratama motorway. The Highway Authority has subsequently announced plans to partially decommission the obsolete toll booths. City News' Fred Duho brings us more in this report. There was a fatal accident that occurred on the Tema bound side of the Accra Tema motorway on Sunday last week and contractors from the road ministry are yet to mobilize resources and move to sites to clear the debris from this location. The work is going to be in two phases. The phase one is where the lightning engineer is going to illuminate this particular environment to ensure that the main contractor that would be engaged in the phase two to clear the debris from the motorway also has that sort of bright environment to be able to work day and night to ensure that the work is done in time to equally afford motorists uh, that free flow of traffic. Achu Amejake is the director in charge of road safety at the Ghana Highways Authority and he's been speaking to me on what this whole project is about. When is the main demolition supposed to start? Uh, we, the main work to be done, the main work is the demolition. But before that, we have to do the street lighting project. And as you know, we have brought a contractor as a street light contractor to the site. And he will begin work in, in earnest tomorrow. And we anticipate that between uh, five days to one week, he should be able to get the street light uh, works completed. And thereafter, the contractor, but if he's able to expedite the works, that means the demolition contractor can get to the site earlier than uh, a waste time. Have you mobilized him already? Is he away in any... We are going to use our own construction unit. It's called the bridge maintenance unit. They have the facilities and capabilities to undertake the works. Mm. So my understanding is that this work or demolition will be done in the night, hence the enhancement of uh, the light. Day and night. But if we have the light, it means that it can be expedited. That means he'll be working day and night. Any measures in place to control traffic? Yes, yeah, so we'll put in the necessary traffic uh, management uh, uh, measures. So uh, it's also part of the, the cost of the works. So the cost of the work compo is composed of uh, comprises of uh, the demolition works, the uh, street light work, and then the uh, traffic management works. <laughs> and if they mobilize and move to site, if this person is supposed to finish lightning by within a week, the, uh, the contractor proper, how many weeks are you giving him? Because this thing still pose danger to the motoring public. Uh, but uh, as you, you can see, it's a minor work. So when the demolition contractor gets in with the necessary cranes and equipment, within some three or four days, we should be able to take the off of the structures. Yes, because it's not total decommission of the two plaza. It's just partial. So we are just taking a section of it. Uh -huh. So within some three or four days, we should be able, if they work day and night, we should be able to get it done. This entire work, we understand, is just a minor work, according to the director. And he is indicating again that it's going to cost the government a little about one million Ghana cities to clear this debris and ensure that lights are installed at this particular point on the motorway and the Tema site as well. He's been adding further details as to what the contract entails. Currently, uh, we are looking at one million Ghana cities. And that will take care of the demolition and then the installation of the solar powered street lights. What well, is well, that well, that well, that people stealing street lights? How are you going to prevent this? I mean, we are fixing it, but you, you can't prevent people from stealing these, this, this lamp post. Uh, what we can do is to appeal to every Ghanaian okay, to be on the watch. And uh, just in case you see somebody tempering with any of our facilities, you can call the PRO or uh, any of uh, can alert any highway. Uh, worker. Now let's speak to one of the engineers who is from Preforce Limited, who is in charge of uh, visibility to explain to us what exactly he'll be doing to ensure visibility on site. Yes, tell us what is your work in this whole uh, contract? So as streetlight contractors, we are here to uh, install streetlights. Uh, the client specifically stated solar streetlights and uh, that is why we are here. In fact, Today we have taken uh, the measurement of the shoulder and to ensure and be sure if there are no utility lines passing uh, right after the shoulder so that when we are excavating to cast our concrete, we don't damage any utility line. Let's get the very first account from one of the gentlemen who live just by the side of the tow booth and who actually heard the sound that night around 4 a.m. and woke up 
to the shocking incident that occurred on the Accra to my motorway. The early hours of 4 a.m. in the morning, I went on patrols and then I heard noise. I rushed out and I realized that a tanker veered off and ran into one of the buildings of the tow booths. So I couldn't come out though because I was scared. But I was still standing in front of my gates and then observing the incident that occurred. So I think around that 4 a.m., people were still sleeping. People couldn't come out. But um, later around 6 a.m., I saw that the fire service uh, vehicle and then some policemen came around uh, then to do some one or two works to be able to remove uh, the debris of the building so that they will be able to rescue the person who got involved in the accident. For, from what you observed, uh, how long did it take for the fire service to come in to intervene? Um, like I said, it was around 4 a.m. So later, around 6 a.m., it was drizzling. I saw that the fire service and the policemen came around and then to do some works around there before they were able to rescue the injured person. But I think, um, let me just say, the person even died because I saw that the police carried the remains of the person into the car and drove away. It is quite intriguing to note that a motorway as risky as this nature has no place you can turn for an emergency when there is an accident. And that is a source of worry for a number of drivers or motorists on this particular street. Until the tow booth on the motorway are totally removed in their present state, drivers would have to drive with caution anytime they are on the motorway, considering the number of potholes that are equally posing as death trap for their safety. My name is Fred Duho reporting for City News.